When I first saw the assignments that David and Dan gave us, uh, I was a little bit wary, like, oh, homework, and do I really have to listen to this stuff? But I'm so glad I did because it familiarized me with ACX, um, what profiles look like, what a successful profile looks like versus one from somebody who really didn't know what they're doing and are probably not going to get a lot of views or interest. Um, plus, it helped me uh, acclimate myself to what good samples sound like. You know, like if I want to try recording a different genre, I know how to quickly put together a little sample myself and how to label it correctly so that I will attract the attention of the rights holders that I'm trying to get their attention. You know, maybe there will be a meeting of the minds in a potential project. With the assignments that we were given each week, when I first looked at the assignments, uh, it was, again, a matter of trust, especially in the beginning, trusting Dan O'Day and his process trusting David Lawrence and his process and not quite understanding the method to the madness. However, following it to a T and following what the assignments were, it, it amazes me still now you know, after the class is done and going back and, and thinking, oh, I remember this and I remember that from the assignments to look at them and go, it was so methodical and in a very, very efficient way. What they gave us in the assignments, each week was spot on. And we came out of each week knowing exactly and getting out of it exactly what they were hoping we'd get out of it. That is, as long as you put in the work to it, as long as you, you know, you're given the work, you're given the outline, they tell you right off the beginning, you know, they're not going to, you don't have to send it to them. It's up to you to do it. However, what you put into it is what you get out of it. We were given assignments at the beginning of each week, and um, then we had the week to work on them and bring them back to the class. And when I first saw the first assignments, I thought, oh boy, this is going to be deep, and it is going to be uh, some amount of work, which is, for me is actually a good thing because I have a tense, I've got a lazy streak, so I need to be pushed with deadlines and so forth. And the class did that, and the the, um, uh, the assignments were well thought out, I thought, and logical, and went in, in the correct order, so that you didn't, I've been in classes where you get a bunch of questions, and they kind of bounce all over the place, and you're never, you're never quite sure if you're on a path, um, but in the master class, that, that path starts at the beginning, and they tell you what they're going to tell you, then they tell you. And then it's yours. You own it and, it's, and you can use it. Getting books actually up on Amazon, using all of the tools, the toolkit that you get from the masterclass is incredibly valuable. And it's something that you'll, you'll um, use throughout the rest of your life. I really enjoyed the assignments that we were given on, on this course. They were easy to follow. Uh, they were manageable. But I also appreciated the fact that we had homework because I think the most important thing about this course is that we are responsible for our own education on this course and getting ahead. And if, if you didn't do the assignments, you missed out. The assignments, I felt, were very reasonable to do. Uh, we were given you know, about the time frame it would take you to do them. And honestly, that really worked out. I thought those, the assignments I really, really appreciated having because that meant that when it came to the Q&A uh, a couple of days later, um, I could relate to what others were telling about their assignments. And also, I felt, whoa, yes, you know, I really do understand how I progress through this. Dan and David gave us assignments. One of the assignments was to check out genres that I might not normally be interested in and listen to some people's um, recorded recordings of it for their, their site on ACX. And I was like, well, I'm never going to do this kind of a book. So why would I even bother listening? You know, I'm definitely not going to do nonfiction. But it was really interesting because later on, after I had completed the whole course and I thought about the books I could do or might do or would do, I realized that the box I had put myself in at the beginning before I'd started the class of what I exactly what I wanted to do 
had opened up and expanded by the end of the class. And I thought, why would I limit myself? Sure, I could do nonfiction or sure, I could do business or any of those things. So I found the assignments really helpful. You know, and some of the assignments were totally necessary if you wanted to get your business off the ground. And granted, the research is important in any business, but it was downloading the software that you needed to record, the downloading the software you needed to produce. And, um, and it was, it was really very, very helpful. And also recording your own audition and editing it. I mean, it was all stuff you, you, you know, if you were going to move forward in the audiobook business, you had to do it. So it was great to be able to do it as an assignment, get my feet wet that way. And then if there was an issue or problem, I can ask questions about it and talk about my experience afterwards. One of the first assignments we had in class was to take a look at profiles of producers on the ACX website. And uh, I got a chance to uh, view those, uh, got a chance to listen to some audio samples. And after listening and uh, delving into the materials that we have in the curriculum, I came to the realization that I can do this. This is up my alley. I can really do this. In looking over the samples and checking over the various genres, I was prejudiced to do nonfiction. But uh, one of our assignments was to take a look at uh, fiction. As a uh, matter of practice, I don't normally do character voices when I narrate. But I do have enough variance so that you can tell the characters apart. Uh, that's what I learned uh, in uh, trying to work in an area that I hadn't thought of working in. I think one of the most surprising aspects of the class could be that I can do material that I never entertained thoughts of doing. Uh, going into the world of fiction, perhaps even into romance. I never thought of myself as a romantic, but then again, if if I can get into the story, if the author has built such a wonderful story and they're entrusting me the chance to tell their story, that's inspiration enough to try and deliver the best job you possibly can. I'd like to take a shot at a romantic novel.